Hi guys. So today we are going to work with Caesar Brick 6000. It is a 600 micron thick heat transfer vinyl. It's a great way to add a lot of dimension to your projects. Logos, small designs, hats, bags, left chest logos, designs, things like that. Really awesome. So we are going to make a hat today and I'm not using a hat press. So if you don't have a hat press, don't stress. But look how cool that looks. Can you see the dimension in that? It's really cool, super easy. So let's go get started. But today we are going to do a hat. So I'm going to decorate a hat with this Caesar brick just to give you some quick tips and tricks on things that you can do with this. I do not recommend anything super intricate because it is that thicker material. So I'm gonna cut this on my Silhouette Studio. I'm just gonna do a small word on here and I'm gonna cut this on Silhouette at a blade depth of eight, a thickness of 15 and a speed of five. I'm just kind of played around with it. It might be because of my blade that I'm cutting it at that. But make sure you check out the cut settings document that they have at 651vinyl.com. I'll drop a link down below in the comments if you're watching this on YouTube. And it's got all the cut settings and pressing settings for all of the materials that they carry. So I'm going to head over to the Cameo, cut this out, and then we'll go from there. So I've got my design cut out. And I do want to mention that you do need to mirror this and print it with the shiny side down. So we're going to go ahead and weave this. I'm using my Stab and Grab tweezers from 651 Vinyl. And then everything I use, there'll be links in the description if you're watching this on YouTube. And I'm just going to weave this out. So this is a very unique material. If you're used to working with other Caesar products, this one does have a non-stick carrier. So there's no adhesion to this at all. Let's weed that out. Let's get my counters. this border. So we've got it all cut out and you'll notice it looks a little funky on this side. So it does have that frosted carrier. So when you pull the carrier back and it separates, it looks a little different. Just lift it up a little bit when I was weeding, it's still going to apply fine. So do not stress about that at all. But you will see that the carrier has no adhesion and the brick is a really pretty matte finish, but look how thick that is. It is so beautiful. So because there's no sticky liner on the back of here, it's not gonna adhere to my hat. So I'm gonna use some Teflon tape. It's a heat resistant tape that you can use with your heat press or your iron or your easy press that just allows your item to stay stuck, but it doesn't have any residue that's gonna be left over after you remove it. Other tapes are gonna get really sticky and gummy and gross with that heat. So I'm just putting a bunch of this on here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a small pressing pillow and I'm going to flip the hat over and kind of pull this rim back and just get this as close to the front edge of that cap as I can. And then I'm gonna grab a big coffee mug. I'm gonna set that coffee mug underneath here so that I kind of have a firm surface to press this onto. Grab my design, figure out exactly where I want it. So I have my easy press and I have it set to medium and I'm going to press this and for a heat press, you're going to use 311 for 20 seconds and for a home iron you're going to do it between cotton and linen for about 20 seconds so you want to do each section for about 20 seconds This is a cold peel heat transfer vinyl. So you do not want to try and lift this carrier sheet while it is still warm. 
you have to wait for it to cool off. So we're going to wait just a minute and let this cool. So one of the things with brick is because it's such a thick material, again, 600 microns thick. I don't know if you can see that. It's a very thick material. One of the suggestions that they have is after you've pressed it, flip your item over and press it from the other side. That way you're getting that heat closer to the adhesive layer instead of having to go through all of that thickness of the vinyl. So we're still quite warm, so we'll let this cool. Okay, so we've cooled down. So let's peel it off and see how we stuck here. If you peel it off while it's still warm, you can risk it lifting. All right, so there we are. And then again, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip it over and we just wanna press from the inside for about 10 seconds or so. And there we have it. I love the blue with the white. It looks so good. And that's it. That's all there is to it. Again, you can use this on hats. You can use it on bags. You can use it for the left pocket logos, fleeces, sweatshirts, uh, t-shirts, things like that. It is a thick material, so it works really well on thicker pile items like towels and blankets. Things that you could also use flock or glitter on, but maybe you don't want that fuzzy feel of the flock or the glitter. This is great for men, but it is really cool. Again, it has that really matte finish to it. It's really pretty. All right, so we're all done. So some points to remember with this is it is a thicker material, so you don't want to be cutting super intricate designs on it. You're going to have a bit of difficulty. It, you can layer this on top of Easy Weed, so it would be really cool to have a solid background. If you had like a shadow or offset and then had this on top, it would have a lot of dimension to it. Would be really cool. So drop a comment down below. Tell me what you want to make with Caesar Brick. Again, everything that I used and talked about, there's links in the description. If you're not watching this on YouTube, click over to youtube.com backslash Creates. Find the video and all the links will be there. I'd appreciate it if you took a time to give me a thumbs up subscribe and click that bell so you get a notification every time I upload a new video.